on the fence on whether or not you should get a PS5 or a new gaming PC. In this post, we've highlighted the pros and cons of each of these gaming platforms to help you make your decision. Gamers have long debated on which platform is the best for gaming, and, while there are many proponents on both sides of the PC vs console discussion, the reality is that the right gaming platform for you will mostly depend on your own personal tastes. With the release of the PS5, the choice has become even more difficult. Which one should you get? A PS5 or a gaming? In this guide, we're going to break down the main pros and cons of both the PS5 and the PC as options for gaming pla- So, if you're not sure which option would be best for you, keep reading. PS5 Rundown The PS5, short for PlayStation 5, is the newest iteration of the PlayStation game console. Every feature and function that the PS4 offered can be found in the PS5. Each one of those features and functions has been greatly improved. As a result of these improvements, the newest PlayStation console can play better looking games at a higher frame rate. What about the games for PS5? Since the PS5 was released less than one year ago, the library is still relatively small. Even so, though, just about every major title released within the last year is available for the PS5. Some of these titles include Deathloop, Resident Evil Village, Hetman 3, Call of Duty, Black Ops Cold War, Watch Dogs, Legion, and various others. None of those titles are exclusive, and they can all be played on the PC and other systems. Right now, the PS5 only offers a couple of exclusives, such as Demon's Souls and Returnal. That being said, you can play any PS4 game on the PS5. As a result, you have access to an even more extensive assortment of games, including every PS4 exclusive. So, if you would like to play The Last of Us series, for example, you can do so on the PS5. Through the PlayStation Now subscription service, you can also play some PS2 and PS3 titles. What can you do with the PS5? The PS5 is a game console, so, the main thing you can do with the PS5 is, of course, play games. But that's not the only thing you can do with the PS5. You can watch Netflix. You can browse YouTube. You can surf the web. You can listen to Spotify. You can watch Twitch. You can watch Blu-ray movies and shows. Even though the PS5 is a gaming system, you can use it as a fully-fledged entertainment system. What's the cost? The cost of a PS5 is $500. Right now, though, the number of PS5s available for that price is limited. Many people are purchasing from resellers, who often charge quite a bit more than $500. To go along with that, even if you score a PS5 at its MSRP, you may want to purchase some extra peripherals. Just as an example, a single wireless controller costs $70. You must also consider the cost of games, along with whether or not you want to play online. PC Gaming Rundown A PC, short for personal computer, is a computer that, in this context, can play games. You can do everything that a regular computer can do with a gaming-oriented PC. Just like the PS5, a PC runs on an operating system. What specs does the PC have? Every PC offers its own set of unique specifications. This is part of what makes the PC as a gaming platform unique. You are free to choose the hardware you would like for the games you wish to play. To go along with that, if you want to upgrade your components at some point, you can do so. So, as an example, if you want a new GPU, the latest games, you can do so without buying or building a brand new PC. As long as the rest of the components in your current computer meet the requirements of the games you want to play. With a PS5, you cannot upgrade your system. What about the games on PC? Just about every major release except for console exclusives is available on PC. Many of these titles offer improved graphics on the PC, as well as an uncapped frame rate. But, in order for you to play those games and enjoy those improvements, you will need the right components. However, even if you don't have the best components, you still have access to plenty of games. For instance, if you have a budget gaming PC. While you may not be able to max out the graphics settings on certain games, you still may be able to play them by lowering the settings. What can you do with a PC? Everything that a PS5 can do, you can do on a PC with the exception of playing PS5 exclusives. So, if you want to watch YouTube, listen to music, turn on ray tracing in games that support it, watch a movie, browse the internet, and so on and so forth, and you can do so on your PC. The PS5 is a closed system that is dependent on Sony's software and hard. A PC is very different, though, and supports a wide variety of different software and hardware. Rather than being restricted to one digital platform, you can use Steam, Epic Games Launcher, Origin, 
Uplay, and many others. Each one of those platforms offers its own library of games, as well as plenty of features. Every one of those platforms also gives you the ability to play online without paying a fee. Overview The PS5 is a great system that offers plenty of power, as well as convenience and affordability. For those who want something affordable, convenient, and effective, the PS5 is a great choice. A gaming PC is, comparatively, not quite as convenient, perhaps a little more expensive, but for those who want something that offers tremendous versatility, plenty of games, along with the ability to perform many different tasks, a gaming PC is a fantastic. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.